Hi folks, this is just a quick video to let you know that a side project of mine outside of D&D &D and my day job uh, is about to launch in the next few weeks. A few years ago I started writing a fantasy novel called Demons, part of the Demons series, a trilogy, there's going to be three of them, and very excited to say that the first is nearly out. This is the cover of the paperback copy I've received. It's got a glossy cover so you can see like oh the light uh, reflecting on it. And the reason I thought I'd do a quick video is because it's a fantasy novel. People who watch my videos are into D&D &D, which is fantasy. I figure there might be some overlap. The style I would say, bearing in mind my videos are mostly Ravenloft and so sort of gothic horror. This is more sort of traditional kind of D&D style fantasy. So I think things like Forgotten Realms, the Honor Amongst Thieves uh, movie that came out recently, that kind of thing. The synopsis is a group of adventurers, a ragtag bunch, think a couple of bounty hunters, a thief, a knight of the kingdom, a gentle giant with a heart of gold, all that kind of thing. They all team up to help a girl with magical powers she can't control very powerful magic because she's being pursued by an evil wizard who wants to use her magic for nefarious purposes. Appearing to the side of me, I got some illustrations done of 10 of the main characters. I'll quickly show you them and talk you through them. There is Komarebi, the centaur samurai bounty hunter. Yes, that's a mouthful. Very sort of moody, brooding kind of character, but he has got a sense of humor. There's Aeson, he's a halfling, old halfling cleric. Yeah, I suppose he's kind of like the uh, the mentor of the group, keeps them all in check. But even though he's a cleric, he's very sort of informal, very sort of street smart. Not, so, not someone you'd expect to be a cleric, perhaps. Maybe there's more to him in his past. There's Neve. She's a half-orc, also a bounty hunter partner to Komarabi, uh, their bounty hunting duo. I'd say she's kind of ranger type, likes to use bow and arrow and a short sword, that kind of thing. Flora is the magical girl with powers she can't control, just suddenly started to develop these wild, this wildly powerful magic and she's discovered by Aeson, the old halfling cleric I showed a moment ago, uh, who sort of becomes her guardian, if you will. There's Oaken, uh, my editor's uh, favourite character, he's a gentle giant with a heart of gold. There's Lady Eleonora, she is the head of the Knights of the Kingdom. There's Vi, who's a teenage thief. Musliak, a lizard person, a bounty hunter. Prince Leo, the prince of the kingdom, uh, very sort of unprincely. Uh, there's a line in the book where he's described as being more like a pirate than a prince, to give you an idea. And the main villain, the evil wizard, Demonolus, who hides his identity behind his armour. I also made a map in a bit of software called Wonder Draft. So there's a map of most of the Kingdom of Grandaga. There's also a bordering kingdom to the westish off map, sort of northwestish, called Raxatorn. Raxatorn's mentioned a few times in this novel and this becomes like the sort of main setting for the second novel. And uh, this proof copy I've got done has got some of these things in it. So I can show you, say if you were to get the paperback, and I think this would show up if you've got the Kindle version as well. You can actually see the map inside there. And I even include some of the character illustrations I've just shown you on the screen. This is Komarebi and Aeson and all the others are after that. In conjunction with doing this video, I have just launched my author website, stevemorganauthor.com. Uh, not only would you get information on how to buy demons, but it includes a free short story called Fall of the Fearless. This is a prequel short story uh, from Neve's perspective on how she met Komarebi, the, the other two bounty hunters I mentioned. It's written from the first person. She's got quite of, um, she's quite sassy and she's got quite a funny sense of humour. So it's from her perspective and it comes across as kind of partly serious, but there's quite a few, well, at least I like to think quite a few funny moments. It's available for free on the website. You don't even need to do the email sign up thing. You see some folks will say, oh, sign up your email address and you'll get a free short story. I've just made it available for free on the website. You can look at that right now if you wish to. Also on the website is a blog post explaining how I got into writing and it was mostly because of DMing D&D, so that's quite cool. It's out 1st of October on Amazon. I like to think that's quite a memorable date. The first novel, my first novel on the 1st of October. It's going to be available at launch on Kindle and paperback formats. I believe I've signed it up to Kindle Unlimited, so if you're a Kindle Unlimited member you should be able to access it for free. 
uh, with use of your credits or however it works but otherwise you can if you'd rather buy it you can buy it now you can pre-order it before the 1st of October I'm hoping to get a hardcover done soon. I was hoping it'd be in, available in time for the launch on the 1st of October. I'm not sure if it's going to happen now, but should hopefully follow just a couple of weeks after, if not uh, on the 1st of October. And I do have plans for an audiobook, but that's probably a little way away yet. I'd like to narrate it myself if I can. Years ago, I did a business book and I self-narrated that and found it a lot of fun. But instead of using like a company with their own recording studio, I might set up a sort of mini recording studio at home and do it myself at home. My YouTube analytics tells me that the vast majority of the people who watch my DM of the Mists videos are based in the US. So what I'll do is uh, there'll be links in the description on the Kindle and paperback versions in my native United Kingdom. But I'll also include the .com, Amazon, US versions as well. And last thing to say is if I've ever helped you, if you've watched one of these videos and you found the information useful to you in running your Curse of Strahd or Ravenloft campaign, then please, please, please do consider grabbing a copy, whether it's the paperback or the Kindle, it would mean the absolute world to me, especially if I on launch, uh, there's enough people who sort of pre-order or get it on the day that it makes the Amazon charts, I would be over the moon. I, I don't currently monetize, as I record this, I don't monetize my YouTube channel. I don't have a Ko-Fi or a Patreon or anything like that. So if you want to support me, this is the absolute best way to do that. And hopefully it'll be a book that you enjoy reading as well. Demons 2, The Fear of Magic is pretty much fully written. I'm just going through the copy edit. Well, the, the editor is line and copy edited it. And I'm just going through her notes and her changes. So that's likely to come out in 2025. Demons 3, The Power of Magic, the third and final book in the trilogy is current work in progress, about 20,000 words so far, I think. And that is likely to come out in 2026. And that's it for this one. Thank you very much.